What's going on guys? This is Miasin and I'm back with what I actually promised last time. I think I made an OCG metagame breakdown. I said I would make a combo video, deck profile, whatever, on the Brave Phantom Knight deck, also using Destroy Phoenix Enforcer, which is kind of like the tier 1 whatever in the OCG, is the best deck out there. In the TCG, even if we get like the Brave token package with Destroy Phoenix Enforcer, I still can't really see that deck doing all that well because we don't have Max C, and that deck kind of can afford to play a bit slower. Searching Fogblade and stuff like that when you are getting hand trapped is still a great thing. Great thing. Next turn you can just, you know, combo off again. So you don't really have to commit all that much and you can make a negate very early. So even if your opponent has Nibiru, it doesn't really matter too much. So before we get into the combo video, make sure you like and subscribe and let's jump right into combo number one. So assuming that you have something along the lines of Rite of Aramisia with either Wandering Griffin Rider or the other Necroman Aquamancer or something like that with whatever let's say ancient cloak and any discard you can pretty much do the full combo so you're going to get to that uh, brave token alongside journey of destiny with just one single right of aramisia unfortunately this card does lock you under not being able to use the effect of monsters except special seven monsters the turn you activate this card so if you're opening play is normal seven torn scales use the effect to discard and then foolish you could do that but if you do that then you won't be able to activate right of amermesia so it does conflict quite hard unfortunately anyways now you're summoning uh, you're searching for that aquamancer which is a level three extender that can actually special summon itself while you have a uh, brave token on the field so yeah you can already guess that we can normal summon the ancient cloak and get to that cherubini and we don't have to send the aquamancer because obviously we already opened with uh, the right of amermesia which is great and and now our opponent tries to use any threatening hand shop or whatever, we can just shuffle back the Wandering Griffin Rider back into the deck and negate that completely, which is really, really nice. Now that Ancient Cloak is searching Silent Boots, Torn Scale is going to be revive by reviving itself back, which is the card, by the way, that you send with Cherubini, and you're discarding the equip spell that you basically get to search for free whenever you summon a monster while you control like a Brave Token. And you're going to be foolishing for that Wings or Fog Blade, whatever, it really doesn't change that much in the end of the day. Now, of course, you control a Phantom Knight, so you get to summon Silent Boots, detach that Silent Boots, revive back the Torns, uh, sorry, Ancient Cloak. And then, of course, the Wings revive back the Silent Boots. Now, you really do have to use the effect of Aquamancer here, so you can get a card in the Banished, so that Levier can summon again is really nice because now you have two Xyz monsters on the field and that smells Utopic Future Draco. Of course with Utopic Future first and Draco, search for that Fog Blade and then you can make Anaconda, pay 2000, send Fusion Destiny with your really nice materials, summon Destroy Phoenix Enforcer and this is absolutely game. One Omni Negate, one Monster Negate, one Quick Effect Pop and a pretty dangerous monster Negate that actually steals. It's even better than Negate and Destroys. Negate and Take Control, it can be the by battle by card effect so this is way better than crystal wing not even close really really good card and yeah just overall really nice combo for that combo number one it only gets better with combo two and th so the board is going to kind of be the same but at the same time i actually really want to showcase how you can not draw the cards that i showed on combo number one and kind of still do literally the same thing so normal seven torn scales with no effect of course you don't want to use the effect because it's going to cut block your right of aramisia now you're going to be sending for that aqua uh, that aquamancer which gets you that right of aramisia and then uh, activate so you get that brave token journey of destiny whatever search for that wandering griffin rider specifically discard that fog blade it's actually going to be an extender so it's a good thing so in wandering griffin rider so you start playing through hand shops and then yeah obviously search that equip spell which is honestly just a discard at this point or a card that just sits in the hand for I practically nothing but when you're going second it actually allows you to break boards uh, while you control a non-effect monster well while it's equipped to a non-effect monster so basically brave token once per turn you can bounce back one card your opponent controls so if you're playing kaijus it's even better you can double kaiju your opponent but yeah now you're going to be reviving back your ancient cloak with that uh that uh, w wings and now very specifically here you have to be detaching the the ancient cloak revive back the silent boots and then uh yeah silent uh, sorry fog blade revive back ancient cloak again Livier, number two, again, the card's really insane. Utopic Future, Utopic Future Draco, and now we can still use the effect of Torn Scales, get to that Ragged Gloves, 
an Anaconda pay whatever 2000 for that Fusion Destiny. Would have been really nice if we actually could have access to like a Fog Blade this time, but we didn't because our hand was a little worse. But we were still able to do quite a lot, which is great. Now, this hand only has the uh, kind of like the Brave Token cards, but with one Wings or one Fog Blade, whatever. Look at what you can do. It's actually just insane, man. So, you're going to again do the exact same opening sequence. Always activate that Red of Aramisia for these two cards, so it's kind of like a plus one in a way. And now you search for that second Aquamancer, so you go special summon one of them, and then normal summon the other, make Cherubini, send for that uh, Torn Skills out of everything, right? And you're going to get a Red of Aramisia, which again is just another discard or a card for next turn. So yeah, now you get to Foolish for that Ancient Cloak, which can actually search the Silent Boots, so it's really, really nice here. Lev here, you already know it, very important that you detach the Torn Scales, and now the Silent Boots, you're going to understand why. Even though we already use this on-field effect, the Silent Boots effect in the graveyard, it's something that we can actually wait. It's fine if we don't use it now, whereas the Torn Scale, it's really, really important that we do get to keep it in the grave, so whenever we do use the effect of, um, you know, a, a Phantom Knight card to banish itself from the grave, we get to trigger Torn Scales. So now we're going to be foolishing for that Ragged Gloves. So when we banish it, we get to send the Torn Scales and revive back the... the well, the, we get to send the Fog Blade, revive back the Torn Scales. Fog Blade, revive back the Ancient Cloak. And again, Levier, Detach, revive back the Ragged Gloves. Utopic Future, Utopic Future, Draco. And it's not over yet. <laughs> Summon the Shade Brigandine, make a Link Spider. Then Anaconda, pay 2000. Summon that Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. And we still have that Silent Boots. So it's everything this time. You have Rusty, Omni Negate, Monster Negate, freaking big monster. And if you want to clear that uh, Anaconda, you can. You can just use the effect of Phoenix Enforcer to like double pop. And then next time by phase, it revives back itself. And then you get to actually steal the monster with the Utopic Future Draco. And of course, you still have that Fog Blade. So this deck is absolutely no joke in the OCG. When you take into consideration all the combos that you can do alongside Maxi and stuff like that. And the fact that you can actually play through hand traps thanks to Wandering Griffin Rider protecting you from absolutely everything. Makes the combo even better. So Nibiru is a joke. It does absolutely nothing against this deck. Of course, by the time you get to whatever, five summons... You're not going to be Nibiru or Bull anyway, so <laughs> that's pretty much it for this um, whatever combo for Fandom Knight. I'm going to be uploading the deck profile tomorrow, of course, with the testing video relatively soon. If you guys are interested, so please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.